Hello, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Haley. I'm a college sophomore studying accounting and finance. So I make a lot of college content on my channel, mostly vlogs, and I post a new video every single Saturday. So be sure to go subscribe so you never miss an upload. It is currently Wednesday, April 20th. I decided to do a little study vlog because I need to actually study. It is currently, I think like almost seven at night right now. I had work today and then I had school. So I have not done any school work today and I have a marketing test tomorrow tomorrow and I have a take home quiz for my analytics class that's due Friday night and I have an accounting project that's also due on Friday and I have other homework on top of that I'm pretty sure actually I don't even know I don't know what's happening anymore but those are like my main things that I have to do and this is really my only night this week where I'm able to like get those things done so I figured to actually get myself to study I'm gonna make a little study vlog um so right now I am about to go study for my marketing test typically for my marketing test what I do is go through practice questions for each chapter which this test it's like six chapters that I need to study and go through the practice questions for and then as I'm going through the practice questions Highlight the notes that I used on the practice questions and then because we're allowed three pages of notes on the exam Those are what I make sure to include in my notes that I'm bringing to the exam So I already did that for one chapter I did that like last night and then into today and then I have to do that for five more chapters and I need to do that all tonight So I need to get started with that But I think what I'm gonna do is do practice questions for two more chapters and then stop and take Take my analytics quiz and then go back and do the other three chapters just because i want to make sure that i have enough time to get done everything that i want to make sure i get done tonight so that's the plan right now i'm sorry for the light across my forehead it's bothering me too but it's like the sun is setting soon so i don't know like where to get good lighting here yeah i just spent the past 30 minutes on my phone so this is a good start i did a chapter and a half and then got distracted on tiktok again i need to stop okay this is what we have right now basically i'm just copying and pasting all of my notes that I've taken throughout the class into one Google Doc and then I'm just underlining the information that I needed to answer the practice questions and that's the information that I'm going to keep on my notes for the test. So I'm halfway done. I have three chapters worth of that and then I need to do the other three. But what I want to do now, it's like 9.40 already. I have an analytics quiz due Friday and I have no time to take it tomorrow so I need to take it tonight. It is open book and I have a four hour time limit and I also get two attempts on it. I think what I wanna do right now is like go eat a snack or something and fill up my water bottle because I've actually been drinking water lately, probably because I'm getting sick and I'm just trying to ignore that because it's almost finals. So I'm like gonna get up for a bit and then come back and take the first attempt of the quiz and then continue studying for marketing and then take the second attempt tomorrow. I just had to stop in the middle of my quiz because my mascara just like rejected my eye basically and my right eye just started like burning so that's great i'm gonna pretend that that quiz did not bring me to like borderline tears i did not do well basically like one piece of information covered like 10 questions on this quiz so it's like if you don't know one thing you're not gonna know everything so i was kind of freaking out for a bit i figured it out at least like part of it but i still got a 60. luckily the professor gives us two attempts and we're able to see which questions we got right and which questions we got wrong so i can retake the quiz and figure out what I did wrong. However, I have absolutely no clue how to find the right answer. And my original intention was like, I'm gonna take the first attempt tonight and then just take the second attempt tomorrow. This way I can look at it with fresh eyes. But to be honest with you, I have no idea where to even begin. And I don't think that's just cause like, oh, I'm taking the quiz at night. I think it's just because I have no clue what has been happening in this class the entire semester. It's my analytics class. So it meets at like 8.30 in the morning and I go, but I kind of zone out because it's early in the morning and I'm clearly paying the price for that now because I just pulled a 60 on this exam. So I'm going to retake the quiz. There's a few true or false questions and I'm able to see like which one of those I got wrong and just flip them from true to false or false to true and give myself a few extra points because that's literally the only thing that I can understand right now. And I think that'll bring my quiz grades like a 70. I'm doing the math wrong on that. That brings my quiz grades like a 65 actually. But you know what, I'm still gonna take it because I think, oh, hang on, I have a whole spreadsheet of like hypotheticals with quiz grades, bleh, quiz grades and with like the weighted average of everything. So, okay, so if I get a 65 on this quiz right now, which I'm going to, I can still get an 83 in this class. 
that's like pretty much what I was expecting anyway. So I am fine with that. So you know what? Yeah, we're just gonna take the second attempt and then I need to go back to studying for marketing. All right, I don't know how to do math, but I just pulled a 75 on my second attempt. So average a 75 and a 60 together and we get a 67.5, which will live. It's the end of the semester. I'm burnt out, I'm done. So I'm gonna take that and run because since this quiz is done, I think I just have my last group project for this class that's due Sunday and then we also have another project that's due the next Saturday the 30th but if I have it done in class tomorrow which I will I can just show it to the professor and he'll like give me credit for it on the spot and I don't have to worry about waiting until the 30th to start it and do it because we've just been doing it in class so I will officially be done with this class in a few days thank goodness it's predictive analytics in case anyone was wondering if you've ever heard of it it sucks I don't like it I'm not in like an IT concept I don't really plan on pursuing any of this. It's pretty cool to know. I kind of wish I had the mental capacity at the beginning of the semester to actually follow along in this class, but it just became the type of thing like once I kind of zoned out in one class, it was like that was it for me for this semester. I just couldn't catch back up. Kind of a lost cause for me at this point, so I'm gonna take what I can get with this class. All right, it's 12:30. I got through another chapter. I know that I should just stay at my desk and just finish studying and then go to bed, but my legs are like in a pretzel right right now. I don't know if that makes sense, but I was at work today, so I was sitting at a desk for like six hours, and then I had class, and I've been sitting at my desk for five hours now. Like, I've gotten up every once in a while, but like, for the most part, I've been at my desk since 7 p.m., so lots of sitting has occurred today, and I really just want to lie down. I still have two chapters to go through, and then I need to go through and consolidate my notes a little bit, but that's really the last thing that I need to like get done tonight, so I feel like I can just do that in bed. There's also, as far as my to-do list i did have that i wanted to do a part of my accounting project but i'm just gonna see how i feel once i finish studying if i want to work on that project for a bit or just go to sleep it's like a practice set so it's like creating the financial statements so i have to like do the income statement balance sheet and i think for today i just wanted to get done the balance sheet so if i get to that i get to that if not it's not due till friday and i have time tomorrow that i can do it then and then the other thing i think on my to-do list was editing a vlog which that i can also so just do tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna switch to my bed just because it sounds a lot more comfortable, but I'm gonna like keep my light on in hopes that that keeps me from going to sleep. Or maybe I'll just set timers in case I do fall asleep. I did that one night where I, I was lying on the couch doing schoolwork and literally set a timer for every 10 minutes in case I fell asleep during that 10 minutes, it would wake me up and then I would do a little more schoolwork and then end up falling asleep again because I was tired as anything. Wasn't the most effective way to get stuff done, because it was like little spurts of productivity and then I would crash and go to sleep. But I mean, it worked. Also, I still am kind of awake. I don't think I'm gonna like get into bed and crash immediately. So hopefully that stays the case. I literally don't know how I used to do this all the time up until like a month ago. I would just be up at this hour like literally all the time knowing I had class the next day and like I did not care. And now like I'm up at this time right now and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so tired tomorrow. Is this what adulting is? Is this realizing I actually need sleep to function? It's 4 a.m. I just woke up from falling asleep for three hours and I did not finish studying. I always have such faith when I first start out studying in bed and then just lose it immediately. I literally just freaked out because I couldn't log on to my computer with my password for some reason and I just realized I was typing in my password wrong for like 10 minutes and I literally thought that my computer was hacked and I couldn't get on and I was just freaking out and literally just woke up my sister to use her computer because I still need to study and then I just realized I'm putting in the wrong password. This, this is why I don't stay up late anymore. I'm only allowed three pages of notes so I gotta consolidate this. All right, I was just editing this video and realized uh, I forgot to film an outro and just stopped recording the next day. So basically what happened after trying to get my life together at four in the morning to prepare for this marketing test, I took the marketing test the next day on uh, three hours of sleep. I passed, so that's all I need. I'm done with my marketing class. Just the entire day, I looked absolutely exhausted. I went and studied with a friend at one point and he was like, dude, are you okay? <laughs> so that's how the rest of that day went. It's now like a week later and I'm about to put this video up tomorrow. So I just want to go on and end the video real quick. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like. I do post a new video every single Saturday. So be sure to go subscribe so you never miss an upload. And also be sure to go follow me on my social media. I will have those usernames in the description down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. <music>